running. I repeat, the woman with the shoulder bag, stop running. Hey, you, stop where you are. Mind telling us why you're running, sister? Because I'm late. I have class in five minutes. But you can't run like that, miss. When you run, your, uh, your rear end jiggles. It's what you call immodest. Well, then stop staring at my butt! This is ridiculous. She looks the same from every angle. We're studying anatomy, and all we can see is her enormous beak. All students must report immediately to the main assembly hall. Those who fail to attend will be suspended for two weeks. It is our obligation and our duty to behave appropriately. It is from the blood of martyrs that the flowers of our revolution have blossomed. To behave shamelessly is to trample on the blood of all those who sacrificed their lives for our freedom. That is why I ask all the women present here today to refrain from wearing wide legged pants and makeup and to begin wearing longer headscarves that cover their hair entirely. If there are no questions. The meeting is adjourned. Yes? You say that our veils are too short, that our pants are indecent, that we wear makeup, etc., etc. As an art student, most of my time is spent in the workshop. In order to draw, I need to be able to move freely. A longer headscarf would make it all the more difficult. You also criticize us for wearing wide leg pants, even though they hide our curves effectively. But knowing these pants are in style right now, I pose a question. Is religion concerned with protecting our modesty, or is it just opposed to fashion? Your criticism is always directed at women, but what about our brothers? They're allowed to dress as they please. Sometimes they wear clothing so tight you can see their underwear. I just don't understand why, as a woman, you don't think I'd be affected by the sight of men in skin-tight pants, yet you're worried they'll get turned on by a few less inches of veil? Ah, serves them right. Why, well, you practically snipped off their little thingies. Will you please take off that god-awful veil? It makes me claustrophobic. I'm so used to it, I forget I'm wearing it. Don't ever forget it. Fear is what lulls our mind to sleep and makes us lose our conscience. Fear is also what turns us into cowards. But what you did took courage. I am so proud of you. <laughs>